Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ryan. Today, I will review a modern classic book. Before that, I will ask questions. Number one. Do you think you have to behave and think like an adult or like a kid? Second, do you need to fit with everyone? Number three, do you do you think you have to agree on what everyone's agree and everyone's love? And lastly, number four, do you appreciate of your own existence in this world? To find out, let's summon the book. If you are suspicious with how do how do that book looks like, here it is. The Catcher in the Rye, the title, the name of this book, and wrote by Jadis Salinger. Yeah, here you are. Here is the synopsis. In Jaddy Salinger's The Catcher in the Rye, Holden Caulfield, who turned about 16 years old, young man recently, who has mental illness, has nowhere to stay after get kicked out from his own school for his bad result. Except English. He has no choice but to get work. Before he want to get jobs, he must meet with his little sister, Abby Caulfield, for the last time. So, he decides to visit back to his hometown. In this journey, he will talk about the reality of elderness, acts of rebellions for existence itself, and philosophy slash lessons of loving the world through disagreement. I will recommend this book for those who are seeking the valuations of existence in this world, thought of elderhood when you will grow up and what is on the mind of a depressive person just like Holden Caulfield? This book is one of the best classic, classical literature you will ever find. You have to read it once of your life. Catcher in the Rye is a postmodern literature, so there are no prota and anto. This book is about thoughts of a young man on his journey to go back to his hometown and meet with his little sister. You might disagree on what Holden's unusual statement such as he really hates movies. But that's how Holden makes himself great. He is not afraid to speak from his mind on behalf of himself. In the beginning, Holden was pessimistic, thinking that he has no hope onto this world. He also dealt with his existential crisis. In quote, do I worth living in this world? End quote. That was his earlier thought after he had been thrown out from school. He had also PTSD which simply stood for depression and anxiety which leads him to get stomach ache. Suddenly, his seems changed slowly. In a chapter, a moment when a prosecutor entered to his room, 
Holland feels want to have conversation on free will instead of having a sex. I'm sorry. Through this scene, we can see Holden needs someone to listen to his word from the bottom of his heart. He just starting to escape from his crisis. In the end of the book, when he is with his sister, it gives him awareness that somehow you will grow up, get up, and fight for your existence. Through this awareness, Holden is able to learn, learn to let go of his nonsense and start to think rationally. Being Eldad is arrogant because they chase fame, wealth, and beauty. With this chase, they become less noble wise and slowly to be unconscious of themselves. Holden says that kids are special, more human than any age stages. They are innocent, enjoy every moment, love to learn and have courage to confess their own fault. I agree with that statement. What we can learn? Let your mind be mature like elder and your heart has pure feelings like a kid. Elderhood gives him existential crisis. He really depressed about this because he thought he need to what society agrees on and he had to but he sudden to realize no one gonna avoid me if I disagree on something I don't agree besides besides he is struggling he learned that he still has a freedom to choose part of life he want from this scenario this gives me inspiration to become who you are. You don't need to fit with everyone. You just create your own space and express your ideas towards it. The Catcher in the Rye influences readers on rebellions. Holden states that to be free and worth in this world Make your existence as an act on rebellion, rebel for your existence. For example, disagree on subject people love and agree on people's hate. To me, that is an act of rebellion. In my point of view, you don't have to love everything on this world. It's fine to love a bit and makes it special for you. You decide. And, and I would like to read for you the iconic passage that made this book a masterpiece. Here you go. Anyway, I keep picturing all these little kids playing some game in this big field of rye and all. Thousands of little kids and nobody around, nobody big. I mean, except me and I'm standing on the edge of some crazy cliff what I have to do I have to catch everybody if they start to go over the cliff 
I mean, if they are running and they don't look where they are going, I have to come out from somewhere and catch them. That is all I do all day. I would just be the catcher in the ride and all. I know it's crazy, but that is the only thing I would really like to be. I know it is crazy. That's all from my review. These are my point of view and my own statement. If you have read this book and somehow you disagree with my point of view slash statement, share it with me and I would love to know about your own opinion on this book. Yes, this book. I'm sorry if my English are not properly done. I'm still a learner and love to learn more. And that's all from my video. Finally, thanks for watching this video and have a nice day, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye.